So thank you. Well, right now, Alvin Ailey is celebrating its 60th anniversary. The company is marking the occasion with some exciting new shows, including The Call, which premieres next week. And we are joined this morning by choreographer and 2018 Dance Magazine Award winner, Ronald Brown. Good morning, Ronald. Good morning. First of all, congratulations. Yes. Uh, well, thank, you, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about the 60th anniversary of Alvin Ailey, and it kicked off with this huge gala. Mm -hmm. Star-studded event. Beautiful, beautiful <laughs> event. An incredible guest artist. It was really amazing. To, yeah. he, to hear that this has been, I mean, the 60th year, mm -hmm. um, and, and your your program premieres on Tuesday. Tell us a little bit about what people can expect. It's called The Call. The Call, yeah. So it's kind of, I think of it as a love letter to Mr. Ailey, mm -hmm. someone who had this uh, vision to create this incredible company. Um, so it's just to, say, to say thank you to him for answering the call. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, and that is on, that starts Tuesday? Tuesday, yes. Tuesday, okay. Yeah, it on Tuesday. Let's talk a little bit about your history. We were <laughs> yes. talking about this earlier. How much the Ailey Company has meant to you and when you were first exposed to it? Do you know, I, on a school trip, I was born in uh, Brooklyn, bed mm -hmm. and on a school trip, we went to see Ailey, and I went home and made a dance. And you were eight years old. I was eight, yeah, yeah. Right, <laughs> you left that part out. You were only eight. <laughs> See yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. So it was amazing. So um, he let me know that I could make, you could make a dance about people, about God, and really worship all of those things on stage. And so he's the reason that I'm a choreographer. And so, so what is your, you're like, I mean, can you believe, you can believe, can you believe it all these years later? And so then I was, uh, loved to dance, but was afraid to take dance classes. My mom took me to a studio because I was eight years old and I loved making these dances. And I said, mommy, there's 80 girls. It wasn't, but you feel like that. And so when I went off and became a choreographer and then Ms. Jameson, Judy Jameson, who was artistic director, yeah. asked me to uh, make a piece in 1999. I made a piece called Grace to say, how did this guy who was afraid to take dance mm. end up choreographing a piece for this company that inspired him in the first place? Wow. Yeah. Now you've done seven pieces for Ailey. This is the seventh one. Wow. I saw Mind blowing. It's just amazing that you started, <laughs> like you saw a show in second grade and, and now you are here. Um, what advice do you give for young people who might be in your shoes right, you know, right now, uh -huh. young, young, not deciding what they're doing yet? <laughs> you know, I, I tell the young people and, and some adults, mm -hmm. work for the sake of the work and not for the sake of the goal, mm. right? So if you focus on your vision and find your purpose, then everything will come. What else? What else do you guys have going on? Obviously, your show, but there's a lot of other um, shows to celebrate 60 years at Alvin oh, Ailey. No, they, they have over uh, 27 pieces wow. they're premiering, and so the company is amazing, right? And it's a repertory company, so they do all these different styles, gorgeous, gorgeous dances, generous, and so when people come to see, they see this um, life on stage. And is that what you? What, what do you hope that people take away? from a performance. Do you know, I, to walk out of the theater feeling joy mm. and feeling the possibility in life. It, it's funny, I'm sorry, <laughs> not to cut you off, but we had our colleague Janelle Burrell sent us yes. an email this morning and she said, I know you have a guest from Alvin Ailey on this morning. She was at a performance last night and she said it was incredible. Standing uh -huh. ovations. Standing ovations yeah. throughout. And so, I mean, just such an advocate too. And I also think that, you know, with all these different shows and it's it's going for quite a bit of time, mm -hmm. it's a great way to celebrate the holiday, you know, because people are looking gift. for different things <laughs> to do. Right. Yeah, to go to Alvin Ailey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, thanks for having me. And congratulations. You get your big award on Monday, the day before. Which is also amazing. Christopher Zunner at Ailey mentioned that he said you're getting the Dance Magazine Award on Monday and then your piece premieres the next day. How does it feel? I said, amazing. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. to you. Thank you so much. Thank you for waking up early and coming in. We know you're busy. We <laughs> mm -hmm. appreciate it.